Alan, you know that temperature that's written on most of my fragrance oil bottles that says flashpoint? Well, I gotta add that oil to my wax below that flashpoint temperature to make sure that my oil doesn't burn off. I'm gonna solve this common myth really, really fast. Here's why flashpoints in fragrance oil do not matter whatsoever for candle makers. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. Now, to be fair, this is a really, really, really common myth and it's something that's really important that we kind of talk about in candle making um, because nobody wants their expensive fragrance oil to just burn off before their customer even gets the candle. But first, let's take a look at what a flashpoint really is. So it is the temperature at which an organic molecule, and in this case, we're talking about a fragrance oil, gives off sufficient vapor that it could be ignited in air. So like if there was an ignition source, uh, so say for example, you took a creme brulee torch and you, you, you push the button on that. Well, the flash point would be the point at which that fragrance oil would be able to ignite. And the way it would do that is make the sound kind of like tss, really quick in the air. And that is the flash point. But what's really, 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 really important to remember is that when we are talking about flash points in, in terms of candle making, we're talking about that fragrance oil being added to wax. And wax actually has a much higher flash point than fragrance oil. So when you add fragrance oil to wax, keep in mind that the flash point of most waxes is going to vary from anywhere around like 350, 380 Fahrenheit, even higher. Um, and so when we're talking about, and that's like 200 Celsius, um, I don't have all the conversions exactly memorized in my head, but that's like, I wanna say somewhere around 200 Celsius and up uh, for wax. So that's a very, very, very hot temperature. And most of the flash points, I don't think I've seen a flash point on a fragrance oil bottle anywhere close to that temperature. They're usually, you know, somewhere between like 150, 170 up to, you know, 212, 220, they can kind of range, but it's nowhere near that temperature. So when we're adding fragrance oil to wax, the temperature that we're interested in, the flash point of, if we're actually concerned about this, and, and I'm gonna kind of get into why it doesn't matter later and why those flash points are on the bottles in the first place later, but if we were actually concerned about this fragrance boiling off, the flash point that we would need to be interested in is the flash point of that mixture. So the wax plus the fragrance. And the fragrance is actually making up a very, very, very small part of that mixture. In candles, it's usually anywhere between like six and 10%. So the main flash point that we would need to be looking at is the flash point of the wax, not the fragrance oil. So again, the fragrance oil may have a very low flash point, but the flash point that we are interested in is when we're adding that fragrance oil to our wax. And if you add your fragrance oil to your wax at the proper temperature at which the wax molecules are fully expanded, and that's gonna be anywhere from like 185 Fahrenheit to 205 Fahrenheit. Uh, the fragrance binds to that wax almost instantaneously, like within 20 seconds or less. And I know we always tell you to stir for like a minute or two, depending on your wax, somewhere in that range. And that is important to do. Um, but actually the reality is that with uh, actually certain waxes, particularly like paraffins, it binds almost instantaneously. So um, there, there's actually no need to even stir longer than like 20 seconds, but it's really important to over stir rather than under stir because if your temperatures aren't quite right, um, you're never gonna do yourself harm by stirring a little bit too long, but you can if you don't stir long enough. Um, so all this to say, to take it kind of back to uh, flash points, um, we are concerned with the flash point of the fragrance oil plus the wax, not just the fragrance oil. Now, the reason that those numbers are on your bottle is for shipping purposes. And why that matters is when they ship those fragrance oils via air freight, um, when something is really high up in elevation, like an airplane is gonna range anywhere from like 10,000 to 33,000 feet in the air, 
the atmospheric pressure is lower. And when that atmospheric pressure is lower, the temperature at which the fragrance oil can ignite if there is a sufficient ignition source that may be present on that aircraft is actually even lower because the atmospheric pressure is lower. And so that fragrance oil, say for example, it has a flash point of 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that number is gonna be even lower if it's up in the air because of the lack of atmospheric pressure compared to uh, where we are kind of at sea level in about one atmosphere. And so if there was an ignition source, it would be much more likely um, if that fragrance was up in the air with less pressure that it would actually ignite. And in this case, we are only interested in the uh, flash point of the fragrance because it's not being combined with wax as in like in a candle. So anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, and this is a very, very, very commonly misunderstood topic for good reason. To be fair, none of us want our expensive fragrances to burn off. If you do have any questions at all, please, please leave them in the comments. I know this topic, there's even some very credible suppliers who have information that I frankly do disagree with. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I'm also gonna leave some good kind of articles for your reading pleasure of some sources that I would consider very credible uh, that kind of talk about flash points and fragrance oils and in a different way state what I've already stated in this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, give it a like if you did, and I'm sending all of you peace, love, and light and wishing all of you happy candle making.